Once again, we're facing off against this clan known for their spawn trapping tactics and reliance on the striker Auroboros build they've shamelessly copied. Despite our efforts to counter them, they play the victim card whenever challenged. Unlike us, who adapt and group up with anyone in the lobby, they prefer to wait endlessly at the checkpoint. Our quick response this time prevented them from resorting to their cheesy tactics. It's ironic how they complain about tactics they themselves employ. Have you seen my video on countering their build? They retaliate with the same status effect, and now they're rallying more players to their cause. Their desperation for victory at any cost truly showcases their lack of skill. Quite pathetic, wouldn't you agree? Sure thing. This clan has a disturbing reputation for sharing inappropriate photos of children, which is deeply concerning. They resort to desperate measures like begging people to watch their streams just to display photos of others, likely to compensate for their own insecurities. It's laughable how they try to act tough in a video game while being fake and immature. As they attempt to engage us again, it's evident they're not alone, with others joining in to outnumber us. Despite one of our teammates disconnecting, we could have easily outnumbered them if not for their underhanded tactics. They insist on denying their use of the striker our Oboros build, but it's common knowledge that they rely on it heavily for kills. Their insistence on using it despite their struggles speaks volumes. They make excuses when faced with different builds, revealing their lack of adaptability and integrity. Truly disappointing. And listening to the nonsensical ramblings of a high school dropout regarding other builds, especially when they lie about their own use of strikers, is a pure comedy. Stock and foam on only. No, we didn't. We had on ARs, and we had we seen uh, we seen Pitchman, Kage running Regulus Regen builds. Pitchman is gotta. <laughs> How we play instead of a dude running armor regen? Armor regen. I'm just chasing niggas around the map. I just want to come back at I keep pulling the grenade in. again with these relentless spawn trappers at the checkpoint door. Despite our small team of three, we swiftly dismantle their setup, countering their cheesy tactics effectively. It's almost comical how they continually rush out only to meet their demise once more. Is that Kilo attempting to flee? Someone should remind him that running away is best done in real life, not just in a video game. It's baffling how he indulges in cheeseburgers while playing prioritizing the game over his own health. It seems this virtual world has become his reality. It seems like the hefty individual is once again sprawled on the ground. Quite amusing, isn't it? He consistently abandons his team, leaving them to face defeat alone. What kind of team player does that make him? Notice how we're still three strong, unafraid to take them on. Our confidence in victory is unwavering. Honestly, they're terrible opponents. And would you look at that? More than four of them are attempting to take us on. It's like deja vu from our previous encounters. We're still puzzled why AND refuses to face us with assault rifles. Have they forgotten how to use them, or do they rely on one of the most broken guns in the game for kills? Quite embarrassing, if you ask me. I've lost count of how many times we've outplayed these kids in the past two weeks. How disheartening to fall to a multi-group wielding the striker Ouroboros. Someone, 
please confirm if you witnessed this. We're eager to hear your thoughts and comments. Let's review the situation once more. Notice the spawn trap. Were they upset because we outnumbered them three versus five earlier? It was surprisingly easy considering their lack of skill in the game. You'll see they kept rushing out after each defeat, making the fight more challenging by trying to apply pressure on us. After repeatedly sending them back to the checkpoint, we needed time to restock, a consequence of consistently landing headshots on them. Unfortunately, one of our teammates suffered from constant lag and random disconnections during the fights, putting us at a disadvantage. Essentially, it was a three versus four scenario most of the time due to the lag. Without it, we already know the outcome would have been different. We've seen it happen countless times. Moving the fight near the safe house proved to be a better strategy as A.N.D. relied heavily on spawn trapping. Despite their advantage, our teammates lag persisted on first, giving them the upper hand. It's baffling how we kept wiping them so effortlessly. But if PBO managed it, then anyone can. It's just common sense. By giving them a taste of their own medicine with spawn trapping, we aim to show them how simplistic it really is. Low-tier players like themselves shouldn't boast about such tactics. It's rather embarrassing, isn't it? They seem incapable of getting kills any other way. Do you think they learned anything from this experience? Or is it like talking to a brick wall? Futile? Frankly, they seem a bit dense, so it's uncertain if they gleaned anything at all. Share your thoughts and let us know what you think. Despite the constant lag from our teammate, A.N.D. finally achieved a manhunt. It caught us off guard, considering how severe the lag was for our teammate. Nonetheless, we persisted in the fight because we knew this clan lacked the strength to sustain their kills. Remember the earlier encounter when it was three versus four? It's reminiscent of what we've experienced before, as seen in my previous videos. Did anyone catch Kilo giving us a tour of his house? The video is now available, and it's definitely worth watching. Feel free to ask about it in the comment section. I'd be happy to share the video so you can take a look. In the video, Kilo talks about his luxurious lifestyle and the size of his house in the gated community. It's a must watch. I'm like doing no damage to him, dude. Like nothing. What the fuck out of here? Here comes A.N.D. once again thinking they have a chance because they've noticed our teammates worsening lag. This made teamwork more challenging for us as we struggled to coordinate effectively. Unfortunately, getting kills became even harder due to random players shooting at us, inadvertently aiding A and D. If it weren't for the lag, this would have been a breeze, no doubt. Just look at how we essentially turned it into a three versus four situation again, despite their confident push. We made the decision to swap out our teammate due to the unbearable lag. The game was simply unplayable for him. Do you think A and D became frustrated because of this? Were they hoping for an advantage to feel satisfied with their kills? The constant presence of multi-groups was frustrating, but we maintained dominance nonetheless. After numerous attempts, we finally replaced our teammate, which led to A and D initiating another manhunt. With the lag issue resolved, it's time to see how the dynamics shift. Are they retreating now? Let's hope they don't resort to their usual tactic of running away. Despite their cheesy tactics, we stood our ground and didn't flee from the fights. It seems they didn't have the chance to escape, resulting in another wipe. Once we became accustomed to playing quickly as a group with another friend, our dominance was evident once again. A and D seemed to be feeling uneasy. They knew they couldn't defeat us and didn't stand a chance. You'll notice how our kills became easier as we got used to each other's gameplay. In the game chat, Kilo sounded hungry and upset. We discussed his leaking roof and his attempt to deceive us about property ownership when his name wasn't on any deed. Kilo even attempted to play under the female name Kati on YouTube, speaking in the third person. What was his motive? Who was he trying to deceive? Someone should offer him assistance. Mental illness is a serious matter. This victory was another easy one, along with another manhunt for us. We're still puzzled as to why random players kept emerging to shoot at us, but we dealt with them swiftly. Notice how quickly we secured this wipe. Do you think A and D is upset? 
which member of their team betrayed them? Can someone provide insight? Rumor has it they were yelling at each other, blaming one another for their pathetic performance. Can someone confirm this? Let's analyze this fight. One of our opponents goes down rather quickly. It's no surprise that they revived him, as we're confident he'll just meet the same fate again. Listen to them stacking up on their gun. You'd think they would manage to secure at least one kill, wouldn't you? Keep watching to see if that happens. AND seems to struggle when facing us, so they opted to flee. This underscores their reliance on spawn trapping for easy kills. Notice how I finally switched to an SMG gun. It may be basic, but watch how effortlessly I secure kills with it. Kilo even ran away when he saw me equipped with it. Quite amusing, isn't it? Keep watching, because after these next two clips, they rage quit. We suspect they blamed Kilo for not pulling his weight, as he seemed preoccupied with eating more cheeseburgers something seriously off about that guy well thanks for tuning in enjoy the rest of the video and don't forget to like and subscribe